DeWalt DCG416B, 20 volt max, flex volt angle grinder. We're going to talk about it, take it out of the box, compare it to the old 18 volt model. Coming up. I'm Roger, welcome to the shop. What I'm going to be doing today is getting this DCG 416B DeWalt cordless angle grinder out. Bare tool. This is not what I was intending to buy today, but uh, I had to buy something else. And as I was walking down the aisle, this was on sale. And I do have another cordless grinder. It's right here, the old uh, DeWalt DC41 DC410. 18 volt angle grinder, and it works. But it is heavy, and of course I've used it a lot, and it does still work, but I've been upgrading to uh, the 20 volt, as I don't have too many of these 18 volt batteries left that are actually good. And I have a lot of batteries for the 20 volt. So we're gonna get this thing unboxed, and we'll give it a little bit of a test. So what do you get in this box? This is a bare tool that says it's a complete kit because like I said I've got a lot of batteries. You get the uh, instruction manual in multiple languages. Oops. Of course you have the angle grinder, alien wrench, Allen wrench, and a side handle. And of course I didn't have one on that other one there and I, I do have it. I just didn't have it on there right now because that is an important thing to use. And other than that, you just have some cardboard. So the uh, changing the wheels on these are a lot easier than changing the wheels on the old style because you have to have that spanner wrench that you always misplace where you forget where you put it. So let me get a battery lined up and a graining wheel and we'll put this thing together. Okay, something I should note here is if you don't want it facing this way and you want to turn this head 90 degrees, you can take these four screws out right here in the top and you don't separate it, just turn it 90 degrees, put the screws back in, and then you can use it this way. Example, if you wanted to have the paddle switch over on the side. I prefer them this way, but some people like to do it that way. I've been around welders and iron workers that would rather have it sideways. Works either way. Okay, to put on the wheel. And that's not a brand new one here, but what I'm going to do here shortly, I don't need a brand new one. So spin the lock in the back, push that in with your finger, get in here right there, push in the spindle lock with your finger, that'll hold the spindle from turning, and there's even little arrows on here, there's even little arrows on here, lock and unlock, so let's take that off, put my wheel on, Righty tighty lefty loosey. Then you just take the Allen wrench, stick it in one of them slots, snug her up. To remove the wheel, you do just the opposite. Of course, the handle is pretty self explanatory. And I'm right handed, so therefore I put the handle on the left side. There's a mount on the other side too, right there. And all we need next is a battery, so right there. It's a little safety catch right here on the paddle. And away you go. Okay, so we got the grinder all set up and ready to go, or are you ready to go? Um, absolutely, when you are grinding, or using a wire wheel, or a cutoff wheel, or even a flap disc, wear eye protection. And I don't mean just little spectacles like what I got on here. Ideally, it's a full face shield, and it doesn't need to be as dusty as this one. This is my old uh, hard hat from back when I, before I retired. But at the very minimum, you would want even these little cheesy plastic safety glasses. They do wrap around your head, and they'll protect your eyes. And you might think, well, I'm only going to be grinding here for a minute. I'm only going to be doing the wire brush thing for a minute. I was at construction for over 40 years, and I saw a lot of accidents happen with wire wheels on grinders. The guy's grinding. I've even seen wheels explode. So hence, 
absolutely wear eye protection. And the ideal thing is a face shield. That'll protect your entire face, especially if a wheel blows up. Because I've seen some uh, nasty injuries from that stuff, and maybe you think it's not going to happen, but by golly, it can. So, how do these compare in weight? New one here, 5.5 pounds, the old 18 volt model, 7.5 pounds. Well, this is 2 pounds lighter. Doesn't sound like a whole lot, but if you're using it for a long time, yeah, it's, it'll make a difference. So, we're going to take it out, do a little uh, test grind here. Uh, of course, this is going to be uh, part of another video I'm doing out there on my utility trailer. But I went out this morning to uh, get it to hook up to the tractor, pull it up here, put it on the truck, and actually put the tractor on it. Wasn't anything on the trailer. Started turning the handle, and ended up with this in my hand. The handle broke off. So I thought, well, I'll just run down and uh, buy another tongue jack, because it's important to have a tongue jack on there. I can easily lift the trailer up and down, there's nothing on it, but I thought this was just handy. Give it a few turns, get it up above the hitch on the back of the tractor, and away I'll go. Broke off, so... Okay, go buy another one. I did. Brought it back. Just going to bolt it on. Unbolt the old one, except the old one isn't bolted on. Somebody welded it on. That means I need to grind the welds off and get that all cleaned up and repaint the tongue there before I bolt the new one on. This is a subject of another video, but that'll be a little test for this. We'll get that coming up. Stripping the finish off with a 40 grit flap wheel on an angle grinder. There's a little demonstration of the DCG416 DeWalt 20 volt cordless angle grinder. And I think I need, yeah, I need to charge my battery up. But it started out with a battery that I just grabbed off another tool, so I didn't really know how much was in it. But this will work just fine. And I'll be using it up at the renovation house too when I strip the post for the post light, subject of yet another project. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell, you'll be notified when I post the next video. I'm Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.